Navigate to and launch test prep by clicking on the tool from its location in the course. Test prep will open in a new tab within your browser. The test prep tool provides two testing options, creating your own practice test and completing a canned comprehensive practice exam. Each option is accessed via their respective buttons under the Create or Review My Tests section. The Review My Performance pane to the right of the page displays your practice test statistics to date, including the number of canned practice assessments, individual practice tests, and questions you have completed under the Completed section. Last Test reveals your latest practice test score. The QBank meter displays the total test prep questions you have attempted versus the number of questions which have not yet been seen. Finally, the Review Practice Test section displays a summary of your latest practice test results. To initiate a practice test, click the yellow Create New Practice Test button. A pop-up window displays your options for creating the test. First, Choose your testing mode preference within the test settings. Tutorial mode instantly grades each question as it is answered and provides you with immediate feedback. Test mode mimics a real testing experience by withholding your results and feedback until you have completed all questions. Use the timer option to toggle a timer that can be displayed as you actively complete the test. You may choose to toggle on or off a question confidence meter. This option allows you to rate your confidence in your answer selection on a scale of 1 to 5 during the test. Next, under the Choose Questions from These Subjects section, you will see the available chapters or topics from which to draw a custom number of questions to include in the test. The fraction to the right of the topic reveals the number of questions that you have yet to attempt out of the total number of questions available for the subject. Before adding any questions, decide whether you would like to include any questions which you have answered incorrectly in a previous practice test by checking on or off the Include Questions Previously Answered Incorrectly checkbox at the bottom of the window. Please note, the box might not be checkable until you have started adding questions. Now you are ready to begin adding questions. Click the checkbox to the left of the targeted subject, and then enter in the number of questions you wish to attempt from it in the field to its right. Then click Add. You will now see the question number increase by the number you added within the Create Test button displayed. Continue adding questions from as many topics as needed. When finished, click the Create Test button. Complete the practice test by selecting the best available answer for each question. If you have elected to use the confidence meter, ensure you determine your confidence in your answer choice prior to selecting the answer. When enabled, a test time clock will display at the top of the page, allowing you to track your time. You may use the toolbar below the timer to access a calculator as needed and use the My Notes button to save any notes to a question. If you are using Google Chrome as your web browser, you may highlight or strike through any text displayed in the questions or answer choices by clicking and dragging over the text you wish to highlight or strike through. The option to highlight or strike will appear in a pop-up bubble. When you are uncertain of the correct answer choice, you may click the Flag Question button to bookmark the question as an indicator that it requires further review before submitting the test. Questions marked with flags or notes are identified on the left side of the page within the test navigation bar using applicable icons. If your practice test is in practice mode, you will see feedback displayed at the bottom of the question immediately upon answering it. Click the Next button to the right to proceed to the next question. When finished, click the Submit button and confirm that you have concluded the test. Choose from the two options on the resulting page to return to the test prep homepage 
or to review your practice test. To peruse your results, click the Review My Practice Test button. Your user report page displays a practice test review bar graph, revealing the scores achieved on your previous four practice tests. Use your mouse pointer to hover over each bar to populate the questions attempted pie chart to the right to display the number of questions answered correctly, incorrectly, ones that were skipped, or not seen. Below the two charts is a table detailing all previous practice test details. The data available includes the time and date of your test, the mode, subject or chapter, your score, the total time spent on the test, and the average time spent per question. Click on any individual timestamp under the Test column for a detailed review of your results. Two additional tables display below. The first lists each individual question attempted, whether it was answered correctly, its subject or chapter, the percent of your classmates who have answered the same question correctly, your confidence rating, if applicable, and the time you took to answer the question. Click on any individual question under the Item column to review the question in full detail as you answered it. The Proficiency by Subject table will reveal your performance by subject or chapter. To return to the Test Prep homepage, scroll up as needed and click the Back button in the top left of the page. You may return to review all practice test results at any time by clicking the Review Practice Tests button. If you wish to attempt an auto-generated comprehensive test of a set number of randomly selected questions, click on Complete Assessment Test, then click Start Test when you are ready to begin. Proceed by selecting the best answer choice for the question displayed on the screen and click Next to move forward. The same toolbar options are available in the Complete Assessment as in the Practice Test mode. You may click the Pause slash End Test button below to pause the test at any time. Then use the Resume Test button to continue the test when ready or click the Submit button when finished with the test. After submitting, click the Review My Assessment Test button to peruse the same result options or click the Return to Dashboard button to go back to the Test Prep homepage.